Soybean cyst nematode may be the worst yield robber in soybeans in the United States. You know, we've been dealing with some of these problems that there's no tremendous answer for, whether it's Goss's wilt in corn or soybean cyst nematode in soybeans. We just can't completely eliminate the problem. Right. However, there are some tools that we can use to manage soybean cyst nematode. And that's what we'd like to outline today. Okay, here's the number one tool. Don't plant soybeans. Rotate away from soybeans. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's well, a good option. I'm just saying, if you go two years away away from soybeans, that dramatically lowers that population of soybean cyst nematode and even just a one year switch. If you're going soybeans after soybeans after soybeans, obviously you're going to have a lot more problem because you've got a host out there. All right. Well, if you are going to plant soybeans, the most obvious thing is, well, plant the soybean cyst nematode resistant varieties. However, when we look at these resistant varieties, they're resistant to some strains of soybean cyst nematode, but there are several strains out there and most farmers don't really have a good handle on which strain they have. We'll talk about the strains real quick. There isn't really much to talk about, Brian. What we're looking at is the resistance sources that we have in our soybean varieties, and most of the soybean varieties that are quote unquote resistant to soybean cyst nematode all come from the Fayette gene, the PI8788 gene. And, you know, I don't know hardly any farmers across the country that even know that, number one. Uh, number two, you say, well, okay, if we're all taking these resistant varieties from the same cross, why don't we take a different cross, take a different source of resistance like PK? for example. And you'll see some different seed companies almost every year. They'll come out with some big push. Hey, we've got this different source of nematode resistance. We've got a Peking variety. And then that Peking variety yields five bushel less than everything else. And even uh, I know at Iowa State, I was at some training there just a couple of years ago. And we were talking about this, that well, why don't we plant these Peking varieties? So they found fields that had nematodes that should be controlled by these Peking varieties. So they planted the Peking, planted the Fayette varieties in the same field. Guess which yielded more? It wasn't the Peking. And that's why the seed companies have not been coming with more Peking sources of resistance. They just haven't found any that really yield well. So it doesn't really matter what strain you have out there. We've only got one decent source of resistance that's still in germplasm that can yield. All right, so here's the other big thing you need to do if you've got soybean cyst nematodes in your area and especially on your farm, just do everything else to raise a good healthy crop. In other words, if all you have for a stress is SCN, it's not nearly as big an issue as if you also have poor drainage or high pH or weed problems or bug problems or disease problems or lack of fertility. Solve all those problems first. We see the most issue in high pH soils. Well, why do you have high pH soils? In almost all cases, it's poor drainage. Get Get more tile out there. In a lot of cases, we see this in Iowa and Minnesota, and guys say, well, I already have tile every 50 or 70 feet. Yeah, but you have some of the best soil in the world. You need tile every 20 or 30 feet in some cases on this really good heavy ground, and you could be raising 80 bushel soybeans. But until you fix that drainage problem, you're not going to fix the pH problem, which means your cyst nematode problem is going to seem like, oh my goodness, it's costing me 30 bushels. No, the cyst nematode's probably only costing you 10. It's all these other factors that are costing you the extra 20. You know, the other thing that many farmers across the country are turning to is seed treatment options for soybean cyst nematode. And while they do look promising, especially in small plots where we know we've got nematodes and we're comparing with that treatment versus where we don't have it, the problem with soybean seed treatments is we've got to put it on the whole field, even though nematodes may just be in pockets of the field. So the first one that really came out was Poncho Votivo. That definitely does show an advantage. It's not the yeah, Poncho has nothing to do with it. It's the Votivo. It's, it's the Votivo portion and that kind of repels nematodes and it's a biological and that's all good, but it's not this huge increase in yield that guys are really looking for. And the cost was high enough that the return on investment was not great unless you knew you had a big problem and had a stressful year too. Now we've got a new one, Clariva Complete this year that's come out. And it'll be interesting this fall to see what kind of yield data there yeah. is when we get out on farms. All right, so again, what you can do, do everything to raise a great crop, rotate away from soybeans, use resistant varieties. But what we're all hoping for is two things to come on the market at some point. It's probably gonna be years though. One is a product that will actually kill all nematodes out in your field. You spray it out there, we get rid of all the nematodes. There are many companies working on that. Nobody has anything great to this point. The other thing we'd love to see is a biotech trait that doesn't have yield drag, but does kill all the nematodes, not just repel them, but actually kill them. That also is in the works, but it's gonna be a lot of years in my opinion before we see that on the market. So again, the best thing you can do right now, do everything else 
to manage your crop well. Well, same may be true for our weed of the week. While you may not be able to kill this weed very easily, we certainly can manage other things out there to slow it down or perhaps eliminate it. We'll explain coming up in our weed of the week segment later in the show.